Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be solving the second part of the problem best time to buy and sell stock. We have already covered the first part and now we are moving to the second part. You can find the link of all of these parts in the description. So let us read the problem statement. Say you have an array prices for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on RDI. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like. So in the part one we were given that we can have only one transaction now in this part we are given that we can have as many transactions as we want we can even have zero transactions you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time that means you cannot just buy two or three stocks and then sell them later once you buy a stock you will have to sell them in order to again buy a stock so that's what the note is saying now let us go to the example so this is the example we have the prices on the six days now what we can do is we can make a transaction using these two days we can buy on the day number two and sell on the day number three we will have a profit of four again we can buy on the day number four and sell on the day number five we will have a profit of 6 minus 3 that is 3 so in total we will be having 7 as the total profit now there's a brute force way to solve the problem so for each of the days we have three options those three options are either to buy the stock on this particular day second option is to sell the stock on this particular day and the third option is to simply skip a particular day now for the first day we cannot simply sell something so and on the last day we cannot simply buy something so we can avoid these two conditions and for the rest of the conditions we can apply the brute force then we will have a recursion tree so a recursion tree will be like this we will have three options for each of the state and then we will see that some states are repeating so we can even use memoization in this now let's move forward and try to see another solution using greedy approach so here if we have three days and these are the prices on these three days what we are going to do we are going to buy on the day number two and sell on the day number three so that we can have a profit of three five minus two that is three now let's say another price is added and that is on the fourth day the price is eight now instead of selling on the third day we are simply going to sell it on the fourth day so that we can have a profit of six all right now let's say there are few more prices added to the list so what we can do is we can buy on the day number two and sell on the day number seven so that we can have a profit of nine minus two that is seven but instead of doing that what we can do is we can buy on the day number two sell on the day number three so that we have a profit of three again we can buy on the day number six and sell on the day number seven so that we can have a profit of 9 minus 1 that is 8 in total we will be having a profit of 11 so the first price was 3 then the price was 2 then the price went to 5 then 8 then 1 and then 9 so this is how the price is going this is 9 Initially, the price is 3, then 2, then 5, 8, 1, and 9. So, we can make 1 here. Yeah. So, if you look at this particular graph, we can say that we can have a profit at this particular location. That is 8 minus 2, which is 6. And we can have a profit at this particular location. That is 9 minus 1, 8. 8 plus 6 is 14 so this is the maximum profit that we can have from this graph so what is the observation here the observation is that whenever there is an increase we can have a profit there let us create another graph for better understanding so let us say this is the graph so if this is the graph we can see that we can make a profit at this particular location why so because there's an increase there's a rise 
here also we can make a profit and here also we can make a profit the profit will be this particular price minus this particular price here the profit will be this particular price minus this particular price and same for this one now there's another observation that we have to do so when we are calculating the profit at this particular location let's say the rise number a so it is rising in three steps let us say this is a this is b this is c and this is d the profit so these are the prices the profit at this particular location is d minus a now this d minus a can also be written as b minus a plus c minus b plus d minus c this is eventually equal to d minus a so we can even write it in steps now this observation is very important because now we have an algorithm the algorithm says that whenever there's an increase in the price let's say we are at the ith price and when we are looking at the i minus 1th price this is i minus 1th price if the ith price is greater than i minus 1th price then we can add difference of these two into our profit so let us say we are at this particular day and on this particular day the price is b and on this particular day the price is a now we can see that b is greater than a so we can add b minus a to our net profit when we are going to c we will be looking at b so we can see that b is smaller than c so we can add c minus b to our net profit when we are at d we will see that the previous price that is c is smaller than d so we are going to add d minus c to the net profit when we are going to let's say e now we will see that e is smaller than d so we are not going to add anything we will simply skip on to the next one now this is f and we will see that f is even smaller than e so there is no profit that we can make so we are not going to make any transaction we will simply move on to the next one this is g now g is greater than f so g minus f will be added to the net profit this is h this is i so i minus h will be added to the to the net profit now as we have the algorithm this is a big of an algorithm and constant in terms of space we can now code it out so let us say this is our net profit which is equal to zero initially then we will be moving from i equal to one that is the day number one i is smaller than prices dot size i plus plus now if the price of i is greater than the price of i minus one then we have to add something to the net profit plus equal to this difference so this difference we have to add to the net profit and finally we can return the net profit let us try to run this it is giving us correct answer let us submit this and it got accepted so this is a three line code for this problem so this is it for this particular problem I will be making solutions to the other parts as well and you can find the link in the description by the time you will be watching this video these questions will already be done you can go and check them out in the description box also there are many other such problems which are available on our channel you can go and find that if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the upcoming videos thank you